I love the restaurant business. It's great. Boys and girls meet their special someone in restaurants. Friends break bread with friends in restaurants. People start revolutions in restaurants. It's awesome. I would love for someone to start a revolution in my restaurant. <laughs> We're at the center of our society, one of the hubs of our communities, and one of the drivers of our culture. And when it comes to food, we have amazing power in telling people how and what to eat. And over the past few decades, we have not been very responsible stewards. We've changed America's culture from a food culture to a fuel culture. Let's get it to you as fast and cheap as we can. Let's process the hell out of it. For kids, it's even worse. They only know food comes in plastic wrap or a McDonald's box. Fat and sugar is all they know. Going to a vegetable garden is like going to the zoo. And the results are horrifying. One in seven kids enter kindergarten obese today. How did we get here? Well, let's look back just a, just a few years, just 15 years, 16 years. In 1995, we weren't doing too badly. I mean, still one in five were obese, but not too bad. Uh, Indiana, up there, is the only state that was over 20% obese. It's in the pink. Then things kind of really fell off a cliff. By 1998, we had over 10 states with 20% over obesity. By 2000, half the country, and we started to see 25%. By 2004, there were almost no states under 20% obesity, and now we started to see over 30% obesity. By 2008, almost every state was over 30% obese. And 2010, 46% of adult Americans are obese. Now we're in Boulder. It's not our problem, right? <laughs> it's their problem. Let them eat whatever they want. Well, it actually is our problem. In uh, 2010, it cost us $450 billion in medical care and lost productivity. That's three times the cost of universal health care, four times the cost of the Iraq war at its peak, and it is getting worse fast. It's expected to double by 2018. This is a real problem, and we've got to deal with it. So what can restaurants do about it? Restaurants have an amazing power to impact the food culture, obviously. We have the power to, to really, really make a change, be part of the change. And for that, I just want to give you a little background on myself. Um, I'm one of the founders of The Kitchen, which is a restaurant in Boulder, Colorado. It's a nationally recognized restaurant. Pioneer at Farm to Table, is it? Pioneer at Farm to Table in Colorado. It's a lot of fun, and it is not interesting. The reason it's not interesting is because it's not fast, it's not cheap, and it doesn't do anything for kids. And so my co-founders and I, about two years ago, started thinking about how can we have an impact? How can we be part of the change? It's all well and good to talk about the problem. How can we be part of the solution? And I want to talk to you a little bit about a project we started called The Kitchen Next Door, which opened two months ago. And um, it's a restaurant, it's a um, casual pub. And the idea was to create something that was fast, cheap, and connected to kids. Um, nothing's over $10. You'll get your food in under two minutes. And there is a very strong kids program. In addition, if you, if you come to our restaurant, and this is one of the biggest pet peeves I have with, with restaurants today, is they encourage you to eat alone, whether it's through the drive through or uh, take out. And so what we do is we have community tables. So even if you come in to eat alone, you don't actually have to eat alone. And it's been a, a very important part of our, of, our, of our mission to really get people back together, use to create community through food. And so from our perspective, we felt like we'd, we'd achieve fast, we'd achieve cheap, and we, we were helping the community, but how could we work with kids? And that's what, what I believe is the most important place to start, because if you don't get them young, you, all, the good ones will move, well, the healthy ones will move to Boulder, and everyone else is screwed. 
So what we did was uh, we started creating dishes that kids would love to eat. Kale chips are awesome, and kids love them. Organic cheese and ham, so simple. It's really, really simple. Kids love it. A lamb sandwich with tomato soup, they love it. Nothing's processed, very fast, very simple, inexpensive. Kids love it. We've tried to create a kids program where kids can actually start having fun with vegetables. We give them a vegetable mustache, a vegetable tattoo. We have a, a couple of tongue twisters that can often even challenge the parents. Do you prefer peeled peas or unpeeled peas? Partiality to peas peeled or unpeeled proves pointless. Peas peeled or unpeeled proves presumably persists being peas. Perhaps currently I prefer unpeeled peas to peeled peas. How about you? <laughs> the idea is to get kids having fun with vegetables, having fun with good food. We have a magnet wall which where, where kids can play with vegetables, make funny faces, have some fun with it. And it's a great way for kids to enjoy themselves at a, at a restaurant because oftentimes they, they don't have the, the patience to sit at a table for 20 or 30 minutes, but they can go do something else and have, to have some fun with it. Now, it's all well and good. We're in Boulder, and this is a crazy hippie town, so it's easy to write this off. This, was, this works here. Uh, we, the restaurant is very well. We do about 3,000 people a week, about 300 of them are kids, and it's great, but we're in Boulder. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is actually not true. The rest of the country wants this. Chipotle, Panera, serving natural foods to adults and kids are booming. They're growing faster than anyone else. This is an amazing opportunity for restaurateurs out there to capture. I'm telling you guys out there, go do it, because it's, it is the next big opportunity in the restaurant business. So with that, I'm going to leave you with one slide. Restaurateurs literally means restorers. Let's energize and connect our community. Let's do it with kids, and let's do it with real food. Thank you.